Ace's gym today. He is going to do a session and he wants to do a session in the garden. I'm not really going to be doing any lifting because it's Sunday and I don't usually lift on Sunday. Him and his training partner and boyfriend, best friend, Mike, are going to be doing a session. And I've got some questions from people as well, so people are going to ask some questions. Maybe try and trip him up on the steroid stuff, see if he comes clean. Clean. Where is it? Place a stand on it. Right, yeah, I've got to change all this. This is the hardest bit of this job. Here there, quick question. Oh, yeah, go on. Have you got any tips for injuries and recovery? Yeah, rest. <laughs> Alright, well that's pretty crap. Decker, usually direct into the joint. That's the answer that people want. Like a uh, quarter zone. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't advise it at home unless you know what you're doing, like I do. Five fives, let's do this. <coughs> Abdul asks, how did you develop your crimson chin? It's called, uh, I, I, I keep the brain in my buttocks. So there's no knockout here because there's no brain to knock out. So if you kick up your ass, you knock your ass. Oh, definitely out cold. <laughs> I am from Iceland. What? I am Viking. Stiggy, isn't it? Yeah, I might go three. I want five, really. Oh, don't tell me, show me. Right on. One, two, three, four, five, come on. Alex asked, at your peak, how many chickens did the big man eat? Uh, not enough. <laughs> well, it depends what comes first, the chicken or the egg. Yeah. 40 well, chicken no, we, eggs. We 36 a day at one point. They're chickens, not eggs. Yeah, but they were chickens before they were eggs. No, they weren't chickens before they were eggs. <laughs> As they used to do the roastery. <laughs> and I used to eat a whole chicken. One the chicken. roastery. It's a rotisserie. And that, yeah. <laughs> Come on, big boy. The roastery. <laughs> we had one chicken a day. But 40, 40 pre-chickens. pre, pre -chickens. What is the best, such cheapest meals to eat if you're a strong man on a budget? <laughs> Kebab meat. It's full of sugar. Eggs. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Kebab meat. Kebab meat. <laughs> Kebab meat. And eggs. Second. Just get real friendly with your local kebab yeah. shop. Just go in and say, yes, boss man. I'm a strong man. <laughs> boss man, please. Gains. Yes. Eggs and milk, still the best. Yeah. <laughs> and boss oh. man's donut. What if you're a vegan? Ah, you got a problem. <laughs> you got a problem. Danny is hitting with the hard hitting questions. What made him want to use steroids in the first place? Was it just to get bigger or stronger? Uh, I'd already trained five years without steroids, and, and I found out the juniors time. were outlifting me because I thought amino acids were steroids. But when they told me they weren't, I never looked back. Thanks to Ultimate Nutrition, I was on it. What, what you got to remember is, when we started training, he was only nine and a half stone, so he had a long way to go. He needed all of the help he, he could get. What is the worst injury you've had from lifting? I crushed myself under a lorry, doing a lorry pull, and the guy forgot to stop, and he, he went over me. Oh, I'm stuck by biceps. But definitely the lorry thing was worse. You wait. And I don't know, he says, what are some of your PBs? But the thing is, there's no point asking you numbers, because I think you just made them up. Yeah. No, 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 I mean, he made but they were a long time ago. Yeah. I can tell you what they were. He'll call out a PB and it'll be like the current world record. I'm like, you didn't do that. No. <laughs> you didn't set that record. Done a 900 squat, over 800 pound deadlift, and a 635 bench. Yeah. But these were all unrecorded. It was just training there. Very good <laughs> concept. Impressed, were you? These 50 kilo discs ain't calibrated. No. No. <laughs> Actually, the, the, the tractor ones, I think, are only 49 and a half. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, they are, but we added what we had. There's a bit of metal in the middle to make the difference. What is your favourite thing to train? Abs. Show. Sure. He's in the sunshine. Uh, the hiding. <laughs> yeah, I love doing sit ups and Pilates. <laughs> Finally, what's the most embarrassing story he has? You, you have don't want to hear that. On me. On oh. you. Yeah. He went to the doctor's surgery for an appointment and they wanted to take some blood and i said because i've never hidden the fact that i've injected my butt for the last 30 odd years um i would do it in front of my boys they would see what was going on so you know i've, I've never been a fraud i've always been honest about it i've even done it on live tv that yes i take steroids and uh, we turned up to the doctors he bought a syringe out and said how is arnold with uh taking some blood i said fine i said arnie you know you're going to have to sort yourself out so you can, they can take some blood, which he stood up, turned around and pulled his 
um, trout shorts down at the back to reveal his butt. And we suddenly went, no, 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 it's out of your artery in your arm. And like, the doctor looked at me confused and I went, that's my bad. <laughs> if he sees a needle, he immediately thinks it's going in his butt. Well, it's always pretty embarrassing for you, I remember, is you coming to my um, boxing medical and then the guy asked me to pull my trousers down so he could cut my balls and you insisted <laughs> on being in the room. I was like, get the fuck out of the room. No, well, like, you never know because he was underage then. And the and and Wait, they have like, to cut your balls and you're underage? Exactly, thank you, Karina. Why, why would someone want to... I've only I had that test done right. once. Well, exactly, why would they want to cup his <laughs> balls? Like Excuse 15, me, maybe. can I take your son into a room on my own? Take and cup his test test I think you need to come forward as a victim. <laughs> I've, had, I've been fighting about 15 years, I've only had that test once. <laughs> yeah, probably blokes like this. <laughs> I'll warm my hands, baby. <laughs> it's just not right. Yeah, I want to cup his balls. No, I'll be there, thank you. I watched a very strange thing on, uh, on one of these YouTube things. Um, Africa, they were boxing. <laughs> and in between rounds, honest to God, I swear this, unless I've dreamt it, the, the guy was actually physically massaging the guy in the corner to bring him round because he nearly got knocked out. So the bloke was tugging away on him. <laughs> Have you seen that? I mean, I, I'm, I'm always up for job, but Jesus, not in between boxing rounds. <laughs> Chins says, bit late. Big Pace used to be a bouncer, didn't he? Worst story from being a bouncer. I think the worst story ever. I had a big reputation for being a, an enthusiastic doorman and uh, I got threatened by myself by a dude on the door who said uh, do you know who Pacer Allen is <laughs> and I'm not the brightest in the world and I had to check with my friend I went I am Pacer and he went yeah you are Pacer and, uh, and he said I've got his name, name in my phone and I'll ring him and he'll come down and rip your head off and poo down your throat and I went I said then ring him and I had my phone on me and he never rung so whoever this dude is who's called using my name. I'd like to find him, but he never turned up. I was waiting for this big, because I said, I am Pacer. I have his name written on my wrist. I said, that is me. And he went, no, Pacer's six foot five, weighs about 300 pounds, and is twice the size of you. And I said, oh, I'd hate to meet this guy. Now, now that you've massaged your ego, come yeah, and show yeah. us. Oh, yeah, yeah. What is this then? Is this what you do? 245, almost right, Let's try it, let's oh. try this. Drive it. Arse down, straight back, shoulder back, drive, come on! Come on, it's there, it's there, come on! You gotta finish it now! Yes! Ah, yes! Dad, is five minutes cardio too much? Yes, I always do fives. <laughs> Way I figured it was in the in the MMA world. Wait, so five it's not too much if you always did five? Well, five is the limit. Well, if you do it as a hit. Yeah, well, I never, I never went to the wickets. No, you never went to five wickets. I never went to. I always, I always look for a finish in the first round. So three was the optimum, but if I had to go to five, then so be it. But the most of that was just uh, sort of winging it. Here's a. Uh, we're getting on to the liver king questions. Ah yes. How much money a month do you spend on steroids? Not a lot. I usually use the horse steroids, which 50 milligram Phenogen uh, equipoise is the same as the trend, apparently. I've never, had any, I've never had any side effects, and so far, but I can gallop. Macachio's horse says, what is your favorite steroid? Cheapest. Favorite? What is your favorite? Though? The cheapest. Cheaper than other people. Favorite? Why don't I don't know. I think from what I can understand, everyone has a, a steroid that works the best for them. But because I use the minimal amount as possible, then probably Sustan because uh, Sustan 250. Because I find if one steroid out of the four don't work, then possibly one of them will. Were you asking me if I should be stacking my Trent with Anavar or Test and said I'm trying to go for the Brock Lesnar look. I should have an answer for you. you. He's a big. Well, it depends what you're going for, because Anabar is good for strength, good for aggression. You don't put much water on with it. Um, most book classes are more of a pre contest drug. But for, for giving you drive and aggression and strength of training with, it's brilliant. And then with the trend, you're going you're to be blasting stuff, so you're going to get stronger and bigger. Ah, Even though the stats speak for themselves and the juices of the past, you know, we've seen their results. I'm not going to name names, but you know, there's some photos of certain people that did very well, became world champions. 
that came out juiced off their nut. Wankers, you cheating bastards. Get the fuck out of the sport. Anyway, Pace thinks it doesn't help them. It didn't help them. But it speaks for themselves. They were juiced off the brain. Went on a tear, got off the juice, got bitch tits, and uh, performed like shit. So, I don't know, what do we think? All Dad, I'm saying what are your is, is that you've got all these guys worried about the, the guys on the gear, especially in the MMA world and even the, way, in the lifting business. It's not the be end and end all of it. Everyone thinks you have the magic, you have a magic injection, and all of a sudden you're Johnny Bravo. It doesn't work like that. It takes hard work, a lot of effort, and the guys who use the juice are obviously lacking something else. That's why they're on the juice. Now, I took juice because in the 80s, it was the thing to do. If you went to a gym, you're offered a gym pass yeah, and an 80s, injection. In the 80s, you weren't a professional <laughs> MMA fighter. No, right, there's a fact. To do the MMA, I actually came off steroids altogether. And that's a true story. I didn't, uh, I'd been on it 20 years up to that point. I started doing the MMA, I'd gas like hell because obviously uh, juice makes you gas, true Even fact. What if you were on uh, a TJ Dillashaw, for example, failed for EPO, world champion? Trained with him, he trains like a fucking machine. Makes yeah, sense. yeah, I'm not oh, saying it doesn't yeah, help, not. but it's not That's the not be end and end. <laughs> I know, you, can, you cannot inject natural talent. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> well, I don't think some of even taking steroids anymore. This changed. The, the world's changed very quickly. Oh, you could be on Psalms, you could be taking some secret, and there's loads of stuff you could no, take. No, no, it's not even that. They, there's stuff we don't even know about no. now. There's Everything that is supplements that you're not allowed to that ban yes yeah i get that but interestingly enough as stuff seems to work the they then ban it do they not it debate in the comments is pace full of shit or what it does. i mean one of my friends i know he's juicing because i juiced with him when i was younger and like uh, he was probably the easiest guy to beat and i'm not gonna name names so it's not fair but he's known for it so Does jeff the risk here at usada if you're listening, just get rid of the testing. It doesn't make a difference, you know what I mean? Lance Armstrong would have still won if he was clean or not. So, what are we doing with these 5 a.m. piss tests? That's Trafford's bench. Can we borrow Trafford's bench? You have to ask him. Traff, we need the bench. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, it's fine. Even Trafford was on steroids, so he thinks you're full of shit. He noticed the performance enhancements. He performed twice the dog. Big tip, do not get old. I have a question for people. What is the best gear to use when you get old? Please, get old. tell me. <laughs> Still always doing work. Thank you for watching their training session at Pacers Gym. Uh, please like and subscribe. All Pacers opinions on steroids are probably wrong, so don't take them for fact. We're bad but sad. Enjoy Peace. it. Peace out. Edgy. <laughs>